Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher with a math challenge with prizes available. This is a Pythagorean challenge. That is, it's about the very important Pythagorean equation, which is about a right triangle. You have a right triangle, that is a triangle with a right angle, and the length of the legs, the sides that form the right angle, those lengths are A and B, and the length of the other side, the hypotenuse, is C, then the Pythagorean equation says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which means that a times a plus b times b equals c times c. To prepare for this challenge, it may be helpful if you look at my previous Pythagorean math video, if you haven't already, particularly the second half of that video. I have a link to it at the bottom of this video. For this challenge, imagine that you have an inexhaustible supply of toothpicks all the same length, and in this challenge you are not going to break any of the toothpicks. You also have a vast flat area on which to lay the toothpicks. The challenge is to create from the toothpicks a square with a right triangle built on each side of the square. Four different right triangles surrounding the square. It might look something like this. You have this inner square, meaning all four sides of it are the same length, and built on each side you have a right triangle. Four different right triangles. Uh, the Any particular one of the right triangles might have a side of the square as a leg in these three, or it might possibly be the hypotenuse, as in this lower one. And this is built of the toothpicks, and you can't break any of them, and that simply means that all the lengths involved have to be counting numbers. That is, numbers from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on indefinitely. And the information I need from you is, what are all those lengths? What are the lengths of each side of each of the four right triangles. There are, in fact, infinitely many correct solutions to this challenge. Any one of them will be fine with me, but I encourage you to find the solution that uses the fewest number, the smallest number of toothpicks. If you, you can, if you can find a solution, please do not send it to me in the comments section of this video. Instead, go to my profile page, click on Send Message, and message me your answer. If your answer is correct on the first try, you can receive a prize if you want it. The prize I offer is an audio file from my piano archives in which I play for you on my piano a selection that I recorded many years ago. If your solution is the one that involves the smallest number of toothpicks, I will send you as a prize two audio files. If you need help deciding whether you would like a prize, you can go to my profile page, find the Piano Videos playlist, and watch one or more of my piano videos. If you want the prize, be sure to include your email address. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that if you work on the challenge, it will give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.